Hi everyone, uh, we're at day five already, so we're just, uh, just, um, cruising along. Um, I had some questions that I'll quickly answer that some people wanted to know. Uh, first off is when do they start, uh, getting fruit? Uh, about six weeks we start giving them steamed apple and, um, we peel it and we steam it and then, um, once they're eight, or sorry, nine weeks old. Oh, by the way, that's um, Allegria in the background. She's very upset she's not in <laughs> today's video. So she's voicing her um, disapproval that Adrian is in this video. So just don't mind her. She She's a little bit of a diva, So, but we love her. And um, so it's uh, about nine weeks out that they start, uh, you don't peel their fruit anymore, and you give them two different kinds of fruit. You start with apple. The reason you start with apple is uh, because that's what um, the fruit in the wild that there'll be a chance to get a lot of. So uh, you go for apple first. Uh, someone asked about, um, like, the nectar and that. Like, what you don't want them to eat is cocos palms. So if you have a cocos palm tree in your yard, get rid of it. They're native, I think, to Africa. So the bats, they'll eat them here. A lot of times they'll get stuck in the back of their mouths. or uh, it's That's where they get that black poop that people don't like so much. Uh, if you don't have those trees, you're not going to have that problem. So try to get rid of those trees. Uh, what else was there? Um, what was about the sucking of the uh, blankets? Every bat is different. Some like um, pacifiers, some like um, the cloth. Adrian always was was uh, for the cloth. She more liked her pacifier, but then she just kind of spit it out, and then every so often now she'll chew the blanket, but. Uh, he's always been very, I don't know if it's because when his mom, you know, he, his mom was uh, attacked by a dog and he's very like clingy, very clingy to his claws always. And same with, um, if you feed him a bottle, it's so hard to get the teeth out of his mouth when he's got like lockjaw when he, when he grabs something. Her, on the other hand, her mouth's always open. So she's um, she's such a sweetie, but she's she's got this scream that's a decibel above everything, and it just it's shrieky, and she doesn't get her way. Oh, he's laid back. I think you could tell. He's easygoing. She isn't. Um, oh, someone asked about the naming of them. I always let someone name. I I had a contest. Um, last year for an adult and a child to name um, my babies for the reason is not everybody could afford to um, sponsor a, a, a baby and I think this is the only w a way that uh, people could get a chance of of being able to name the babies so I'll probably do it again I'll definitely do it again around July where people will do a con I'll do a contest of some sort and have an adult name one and a child name you know, one of the babies, and they name them what they want. I don't care. Um, it's it's I've I've named so many that that it kind of helps me not having to think of names. Uh, quickly, someone asked about Kirsch. Kirsch, um, yeah, I sad when they go, but happy too. So yeah, you do have that little bit of empty nest, but you you are happy that um, you know that they're going to be able to be flying free. So it's kind of a sad but happy time. Uh, I don't want to make this video so long for you guys. So um, just write your names. I've been busy writing out everyone's names on the piece of paper. Um, my son has volunteered to be the, the name drawer uh, for the... So he'll, name, he'll draw the names and I'll, you know, show the names and then... Good luck. Good luck to you. So um, I think that's all the questions. If there is, I've, I'll do some tomorrow, but it's this one's gone too long. Okay, everyone, have a lovely day. Uh, it's the weekend here, so yay. 
and um, see you tomorrow. Bye.